up y'all so today i'm making these proposal boxes for my bridesmaids don't mind me i look a hot mess i found these photo storage boxes at hobby lobby they come with a label and that's where i plan on putting their names i had this recycled tissue paper some paper confetti also from hobby lobby and i found this boa and i wasn't sure what i was going to do with it but it was pretty i liked it i got these cards from claire's one says pop the champagne i'm changing my last name and the one for my maid of honor says not act surprised like you had no idea it was coming i found these uh little glasses at claire's as well but i haven't seen them lately and i know i've seen them at dollar tree and I'm getting up to get a little bottle of champagne here in H E. Here in Texas, we have a store called H E B, and they actually sell a little four pack of these. But you could probably get it from your local spirits or liquor store. So my theme for these boxes is pop the champagne. I'm changing my last name, or champagne toast. I'm going to start by opening the box. Right here when I opened it, it was something making a lot of noise rattling inside. And it's actually the cards. Like I said, this is a photo storage box. So the cards inside are, I guess, the dividers for the sections of types of photos that would be in this box if you were using it for its intended purposes. Its intended purpose. I was completely in awe of that. So I got this from Bath and Body Works. They sell champagne toast scented, little goodie bag for my pop the champagne theme. And excuse me in this camera, I had a desk, but I don't have a desk because I let my brother take it for school so i'm trying to struggle bust on the floor here <laughs> and if you could have seen my camera setup you probably be like dang girl that's so <laughs> creative <laughs> so right here i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with this boa i think i ended up cutting it yep and that was a mistake because all the little flyaways those things it's not quite glitter but it's still pretty a pain in the butt and I'm sitting here cutting it like I knew what I was gonna do with it added the confetti and I fitted the boa down in there but that looked funky so this is just trial and error I, I would say this looked funky to me but somebody else might probably like the way that this looks I personally was just playing around with it and I imagine anybody else that does it is doing the same and you definitely don't have to use a box if I was going to do this over, I will probably use bags. I'm planning on doing proposal boxes for Casey's groomsmen as well. So, so far, the only thing I found was beard oil, maybe some sunglasses. And I was thinking about going to get them a little bottle of Crown Royal. I have an extra box like this left over, so I might just go ahead and put them in boxes as well. I would just have to buy three. So right here is where I realized I didn't even put the tissue paper in the box. <laughs> you put the tissue paper in first and then the confetti. or tissue paper, or confetti. You don't have to use both. I wanna say I got this idea off of Pinterest and these are really popular, I believe, last year as well. 
I think it's interesting how everybody was like, let's get married this year. <laughs> I know for us, we have been planning on getting married for about probably two or three years. And then COVID happened and we we're like, ah, we could wait, we wait this long. We talked about getting married last year in December, but I was like, that's too soon because we were talking about it in June. And here I am planning a wedding for August and I started in January. And I beat myself up a little bit because we had doggone two years to plan. <laughs> Right here, you see me struggling. I caught myself taking the price tags off of stuff, but I I quickly stopped doing that. <laughs> you could probably throw anything in this box and they would just be grateful that you got them a gift. I thought it'd be a nice gesture because, you know, people including family, don't have to take time out of their lives and schedule to help you do anything. So I wanted to put this box together to show my appreciation and I wanted to do something cute to kickstart us celebrating me getting married. I want to say all together, one of these boxes probably costs probably about $25. $20-$25, yeah. Because the, the glasses come in bulk at Dollar Tree. The cards, I want to say, were like $1.99. The Bath and Body Works baggie was about 12. The box itself was about three. And a pack, a four pack of little champagne where I got it was about $7. So I imagine you divide that by four in each box. And this is where I got to buy the idea to use this bullet because I didn't already cut it up and I can't return it. And they turned out real cute. So for the duration of the rest of this video, I think I only finished this box because this is actually my last bottle of champagne. I sampled some <laughs> just to see what it tastes like. You know, I never, I literally, before I started doing this, I hadn't seen this. Um... One of the other places I looked was Twin Liquors and Specs. But I thought it was pretty cool that the grocery store carried these. I've seen people use the little Shutterhouse box wine type stuff, but I was going for a champagne. <laughs> and I wanted to stick to my theme, so I got champagne. <laughs> but you know, you do you boo, do whatever. And you definitely don't have to spend this much money. Like I said, they'd probably just be grateful that you thought to give them a gift of appreciation. I'm playing around with probably buying everybody's shoes as well because I think they're like $10 each. And that's only four pairs of shoes. And they're already buying a dress. Wedding planning has probably been like the most stressful part of my year but only because I didn't choose a venue before I got started start with your venue find a date that's good for you and find a venue that has that day open and then plan around that I did not do that so I'm like in crunch time trying to find a venue before August so right here is where I wrote her name I started off with a pencil and then I wrote in a marker because I didn't want to mess it up. And looking back on this, I could have just flipped the card over if I messed up. And I actually could have taken the card out 
a little slot because it slides up. <laughs> but I don't know, you know, sometimes your brain just doesn't function the way it's supposed to. Look at me trying to hold it in place, too. It literally slides up, up out of the box. And I could have rolled on a flat surface. But if you're going to do it this way, I suggest that you do it in an empty box because the contents of the box will shift. <laughs> Look at me, just struggle bus from having put this stuff together on the floor because I have a desk. And then my camera stand, I want to say my camera stand was like hooked to the side of a stool. And I was having issues with the zooming in and zooming out. I'm trying to figure out like a better quality and a better camera for these projects. Because, you know, you see people on YouTube and social media actually using this type of camera and it don't look nothing like this maybe i just don't have the editing skills <laughs> no no i'm selling myself short i feel like the quality is pretty good it was just the the angles and stuff so once i get that figured out i'm gonna go ahead and drop some drop some videos for y'all as far as what I have left to do for my wedding list, I bought my dress and my shoes. I have a veil because my mom got it and I'm not too keen on it. It has like some kind of rhinestones glued to it. I bought a headpiece that I was putting on wearing and putting like a little piece of tulle in the back, but I haven't told her that. She's like dead set on me wearing a veil. And I was like, I can compromise and do something they'll like. Um, I need to coordinate buying like vests or suits and ties. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the ties for them as well. But I don't know about the shoes because men's shoes are expensive for dressy stuff. And part of me also thought about doing tennis shoes, but I don't think that would look right. I want it to look kind of nice. So, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I bought my shoes, my dress, pretty much everything that I'm wearing. I just ordered a dress for my mom. And we're still kind of looking for that. She wanted to order it to see what it looked like. And if she doesn't like it, I'm going to send it back and we're going to keep looking. I also need to finish my sign. I made all of my bouquets for mine and my bridesmaids. I made all of the, um, what is it called? Boutonnieres. I bought five of them from Hobby Lobby for the groom and the groomsmen. But everybody, like our dads, nephews, and brothers are going to be wearing corsages. I mean, not corsages boutonnieres that I made out of little blue flowers and leaves eucalyptus leaves and my brothers and dad are gonna have a pearl accent on theirs and then his brother no both of his brothers are in the groomsmen his dad and nephews are gonna have one without pearls I I have like this huge vision for how I want my reception and stuff to look <laughs> but no venue, but I'm tis. And um, I plan on making a boxwood flower wall. And on the wall, I'm going to have a sign that I also plan on making. It's a neon sign. And both of those projects are things that I'm going to go ahead and upload. I started putting together our centerpieces. I need to buy the floating candles to go in the opposite glasses from the flowers. And I also kind of had a vision of buying mirrors for the glasses to sit on, the vases, whatever you want to call them. So I'm in the middle of shopping at Hobby Lobby. For those of you that don't know, Hobby Lobby has like alternating sales. So sometimes crafts are on sale, florals on sale, wedding stuff is on sale, and it's like half off. And you get in there and buy that stuff half off, and you in there. So part of my issue as far as buying the glass was I didn't know whether or not there'd even be tables. You'd be surprised. Some venues don't even have tables and chairs, but they're charging you freaking $5,000. Must be nuts. 
So one of the things I'm looking at too is actually some venues will give you tables and chairs, but they don't have tablecloths and chair covers to put on them. So you gotta cover that cost. And I've been looking at bulk stuff. Part of this has kind of inspired me to probably start my own business as far as renting out equipment. I thought about buying a photo booth camera to go with my little wall that I plan on making, but we're really we're really just playing stuff by ear. I pretty much been pretty fortunate that everything has just kind of worked out. So I'm waiting for this venue to fall in line because I need I need it to get its life, okay? But all jokes aside, I really do need a venue. Um what else do I need? I mentioned their stuff, my stuff. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna upload some more videos for y'all because I I definitely have been slacking in every aspect of this YouTube world. Um, what box am I on? Basically, wedding planning has. I can't even lie. It hasn't been stressful. The only stressful part is I don't have a venue right now. That's the only thing that's stressing me out. But everything else seems to be falling into place. Um, I definitely see why people turn into bright zealous. This has been an interesting experience. But the more goals that I accomplish, the more I'm just like, mm, I could do this and I could continue doing this. We're going to figure that out together. <laughs> Bro, I can't talk for 20 minutes straight. <laughs> I kind of zoned out while I was talking, too. I was like, ooh, I've got to figure out how much time I got left. And I'm only at 17 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say um, I'm going to add some links in the description below to my couples channel and my business channel my business channel is fairly new i'm working on my llc and just in general getting started getting all the things i need and a lot of the stuff is actually stuff that i'm gonna have left over from my freaking wedding because i gotta go buy it i'm gonna leave the links to some of the websites that i bought things from as well um uh, I was I would definitely say good luck. Like I said, book your venue first. I'm not even joking, and just plan everything around that. But thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Tune in for more videos to come if I can get my life together. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out. I'm I'm fairly confident. Like I have a vision, and I'm gonna do it. I'm going to make it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some pretty good ideas of what to do with your bridesmaids. And on that note, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> See y'all next time.